The Tupolev Prospective Aviation Complex for Long Range Aviation is called Pak DA, codenamed Poslanik, is an next generation nuclear capable strategic bomber built by Moscow based aerospace giant Tupolev for the Russian Air Force. According to Russian news agency TASS, the construction on the first bomber under the Pak DA program had already begun, with the first prototype expected to be finished by the end of next year. The Tupolev Pak DA is Russia's upcoming sixth generation stealth strategic bomber, slated to eventually replace the country's aging 295 MC and 2160 bombers. Whereas Russia's current bomber fleet is based on incremental upgrades of Soviet era aircraft, the Tupolev Pak DA is reportedly being developed on the basis of a new flying wing airframe design. The Tupolev Pak DA is a subsonic bomber that much like its USB-21 Raider and Chinese H-20 counterparts, prioritizes stealth performance and payload capacity over raw speed and aerodynamic prowess. The idea behind these types of next-generation stealth bombers is straightforward. They are meant to penetrate enemy airspace undetected, placing themselves in a position to unleash their devastating payload against critical infrastructure and assets. The extent to which they can succeed in this goal as well as how the Russian, American, and Chinese iterations of this next-generation bomber concept compare with another, remains to be determined. The bomber will carry both conventional and nuclear weapons and is believed to boast a payload capacity of 25 to 30 tons and an operational range of 12,000 kilometers, though the latter two figures are unconfirmed and may change as the bomber inches closer to serial production. The task source confirmed widespread speculation that the Pak DA will carry air launched hypersonic weapons, which are believed to include derivatives of the KH 47M2 Kinshaw ballistic missile. Looking at the back of the B-21 and the Pak DA show some potential design similarities as neither model has anything that looks like a protruding external exhaust or visible area from which heat can dissipate. Have one or both of these stealth bombers been engineered with any kind of cooling technology or exhaust management system? As for fuselage shape, the US B-21 does appear to have more rounded and indented inlets when compared with the B-2 or the Russian Pak DA. The B-2 has small, protruding rectangular structures on top of the fuselage for inlets, and the Pak DA looks like it has a rectangular inlet built directly into the front end of the wing. The new B-21 bomber does appear to have a smaller or more blended incline between the fuselage and wings. Granted, protruding configurations of any kind, if even rounded or covered in a radar-absorbing exterior, are more likely to generate some kind of radar ping return from ground-based air defense systems. Vertical structures and uneven contours are therefore more likely to generate radar returns, as electromagnetic pings will discern the differences in shape. The major design works on developing the advanced Pak DA strategic bomber are due to start after 2021. The commander in chief of Russia's aerospace forces, Viktor Bondarev, said currently the design work on developing the Pak DA advanced long range aviation complex is being conducted by the Tupolev company under the contract with the Russian Defense Ministry. The new strategic bomber was earlier expected to perform its maiden flight in 2019 and become operational in the Russian Air Force approximately in 2023 to 2025. Its development has been postponed amid plans to resume series production of a 2160 m 2 bomber in 2023.
It is known that the Pack DA is designed using the flying wing scheme. The machine will feature technologies and materials that reduce its radar visibility or so-called stealth technology. The plane will be subsonic and will be able to carry current and future cruise missiles, precision bombs, and hypersonic weapons. It will be provided with the newest communications and jamming equipment. The new bomber will be built according to the flying wing aerodynamic scheme, without the tail unit and a fuselage that is separated from the wings and will be able to fly at subsonic speeds of up to 1,190 km h or 740 miles per hour. This is significantly less than the speed of the 2160 strategic bomber that the new Pak DA is supposed to replace in Russia's Air Force. The expert also states that each Pak DA will carry up to 40 tons of ammo as all other modern strategic bombers. This weaponry consists of all types of modern nuclear and conventional bombs, armor-piercing, penetration, cluster and others. Each plane's minimum service lifetime is supposed to be no less than 12 years, with prolongation to 21 years after service maintenance procedures.